the Clarity Alliance is basically the only trade and industry body for the hi-fi industry and it's really important because it does a fantastic job for training and educating uh, people in the industry, uh, particularly helping dealers in order to promote what they do and train their staff and we're hoping to do a lot more work through social media to push out what Clarity does uh, for its members over the coming year. First award we have is the best home cinema room and the nominees were Canton, Yamaha, Rel and Pioneer. Our award for the best home cinema room is Yamaha. Um, can we have somebody from Yamaha coming on? It's a long walk, isn't it? It's a long walk. Come around that side so we can do film. Well, no, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> My name's Chris Ray, I'm the product specialist for Yamaha AV. Um, we've just won a Clarity Award for Best Home Cinema Room uh, here at the Bristol Show and we couldn't be happier. Uh, we're so, so pleased. Um, having a bit of trouble on, on the Thursday night trying to get it to really gel and so we spent a lot more time, a lot more effort into it and it, it just all came together. And so yeah, we're absolutely over the moon. The second award is the Best Sounding Hi-Fi Room. Um, our nominees for that, and I will try and keep everything brief, were Neat Acoustics, Arkham, Broadman, Henry Designs, Dyne Audio and Spender. And the award for the best sounding hi-fi room uh, was Henry Designs. Uh, that's my company, so I'm really, really sorry. Um, <laughs> It went to a system set up by a young gent at the back here. Um, it's for the Project Maya and Acoustic Energy System. So Simon, come and get those. <laughs> the Maya is a really great little lamp. Um, it does everything in a really small little box. It's got Bluetooth, really good phono stage based upon Project's phono boxes. Got a really good little DAC, got a USB input for streaming from a laptop. It's literally an excellent start point for mid level hi fi. And it allows you to develop your system as you learn more and more about our, about the technologies that we can offer. Next award is for the best presented room. And presentation's a weird thing, isn't it? Um, a lot of people just turn up, put a system in the corner, and say, away you go, hope you enjoy listening to it. There's an awful lot more to a show, and it's a show, rather than just throwing a system together. We're here to infuse public, we're here to make people want to buy what we make. So presentation is at least half of what we do here. And I think this is probably, to me, one of the most important awards, and I didn't get a nomination. Um, <laughs> but it is one of the most important awards because it is all about presentation, it's how we market ourselves, it's how the consumers perceive what we are. And that's really important to me. So, the nominations are Fostex, Wilson Banesh, AudioQuest, Dyn Audio, Quad IAG, and Sony. And the winner is Dyn Audio. Well done, Dyn Audio. showing product or the best innovation that our judges have seen around the exhibition. Uh, the nominations are in totem, ELAC, Air Acoustics, Technics, Kef and Wilson Banesh. And the award goes to Plato by in totem. Yeah. 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 My name's Martin Boddy and I'm the Managing Director of Intotem. Uh, and today, you know, I was just so pleased to be here at the Bristol Show and to win the, uh, the, the award was something that's really, really exciting for us and really introduces us to the industry. Our last award goes for the best stand in open areas. It, it's all well and good, everybody having bedrooms and den rooms and things like that, but there's an enormous amount of effort put in uh, for people who occupy the marketplace downstairs. 
and it's, it's right that they have their own award category. So the best stand in open areas are name audio and hi-fi racks. So our winner is Hi-Fi Racks. <laughs> Name's Bradley Waters from Hi-Fi Racks and we've won Best Stand at the Show in an Open Area 2015 with the Clarity Awards. We're really pleased to win this award. Um, a lot of effort goes in, in the background to produce a stand over the months before the show. Um, I had the team of guys come down to help erect it and it really shows. And my wife did a phenomenal job in the design. So once again, I'd like to thank Clarity for the award. We were really surprised to get it and really pleased. Um, so we're made up. We decided last year that it was important that we honored um, people that have given their lifetime to this industry and put in, well done, John, <laughs> stop nodding, uh, put in effort way, way beyond we would accept as the norm. And we have an honorary fellowship this year. It's awarded by the Board of Clarity, and it's, it was unanimous, without any shadow of a doubt. And I've got to read my crib sheet, I'm sorry, because Phil failed and got it, didn't get it on his computer. So. <laughs> you can tell that getting old. Then it's 16 point type as well. <laughs> there you go. Our winner of this year's honorary fellowship of Clarity began his career in high fi after graduating in English from Sussex University. The penny might drop in a minute. An early interest in hi fi saw him working for Spencer Hughes at Spender on the production line of the original BC1 loudspeakers. He quickly showed an aptitude for writing and became a junior editor on hi fi news magazine in the mid 70s. After a short period as publisher of the mag, he moved to Hi-Fi Choice and worked for Felix Dennis as the editor, also writing some of the whole issues on the A5 Hi-Fi Choice mag. He moved to the position of editor of Hi-Fi Critic magazine eight years ago, believing in the editorial independence stance of Hi-Fi Critic. The honorary fellowship, recognizing his outstanding contribution to Hi-Fi, is awarded to Paul Messenger. Clarity represents a standard of excellence within the audio industry. The winners of these awards have shown a massive dedication and commitment to making the Bristol Hi-Fi show the best it can possibly be, and they fully justify their accolade. Thank you for coming to the show, and if you want to know more, visit clarityalliance.co.uk.